hello, fellow Earth alien Virgo. Well, you're not really an alien, but it's whatever. Um, this is your mid-January to February reading. I'm doing something different this year. I'm going to lay cards out and then start the reading, right? And it's a, kind of a little bit different. I can see why people do that more often than anything, so that's kind of groovy. Right, right. But it's just for you Zodiacs. Not all of my readings. Anyway, um, Virgo and cross this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal with not, don't worry about it. You just boop your nose and away it goes. There's no point in worrying about shit that ain't about you or is none of your damn business. Right? Right. So, oh yeah, if you want to personal, all the info's down in the description box. First reads on the house. You're welcome. Anyway, um, so Virgo, we have the three of wands in your energy, as well as you probably being pretty demanding and bitchy is the queen of pentacles. Also, Capricorn or Taurus could be involved as well, but you, there might be this energy of waiting, and it's just putting you to that point where you're just starting to become like, you know what, maybe I'll just go ahead and be a bitch today and just say some shit, right? However, you're, the reason you're probably nettled is because the situation with this Ten of Cups, where it could be this happily ever after, um, isn't happening the way you want it to. You know, it's not giving you the, you're not getting that wish fulfillment start that you need in order to get started, right? Now over here, your wants and wishes with this Queen of Wands, who's a bit bitchy, um, a bit demanding, will probably bite you or ear off, or at least a piece of it. She might either be running away from an argument or discussion, or... She is running to argue with this Queen of Swords, but either way, like, not really saying too much of value and isn't really contributing to the conversation as much as they are just throwing a word salad out and starting arguments just to, like, be saying shit, right? And down here in the obstacle below, you know, the Ten of Pentacles reverse, where the home's just all out of whack, nothing's complete the way it should be, nothing's being attained, and someone's still fighting for that for some reason. I don't know why, but they are. Now, you come here. We got the death. No, that's Queen of Swords reverse in the uh, fears and rejections, right? Her being cut through, her being inconsiderate, her being heartless, ruthless in her decision making. Probably just going around cutting people's heads off for no reason, and that might have caused the world to stall and not work out. And down here we have the Two of Swords reverse, and how this shit starts and how it'll end. Where there wasn't a decision being made, and someone got caught up in their sneaky shit. You got the full reverse, or the Sacred Clown reverse over here in your beginning theme. Which is basically, you know, like, someone isn't taking a leap of faith, or aren't trying to establish themselves in the world the way they should. You know, look at all this graffiti. He ruins it all with the Kamehameha. That for some reason expands from his torso. And he's got weird, like, bunny ears that kind of remind me of Donnie Darko, but not really. It's like a mix between Donnie Darko and Beetlejuice, honestly. Anyway. Mm. Virgo, I feel like you're fighting for something that, like, should be, like, nah. But only on the point. Um, it's starting to make you a little bit bitter. And the medicine will be even more so if you're not careful, man. I'm just saying. You know. Uh, you need to be a little bit more diligent and sociable with your surroundings if you're going to offer things to people. Because the Queen of Pentacles is sitting there with a nasty look on her face. Like she just ate something that was absolutely disgusting and then taking it out on whoever approaches. you got to be a little bit more chill with that, especially if it's with your mate, the King of Pentacles, right? Even though he's kind of in the dark with his intentions, I feel. So, you could be dealing with another Earth sign. Or maybe this is just saying you need to, like, kind of chill and be calm. You know? However, the situation down below, now I'm just dropping shit. Damn. Yeah, you're not happy and this stuff is not bringing you the emotional fulfillment to make you feel like you're yourself. Honestly. And you're not even sure if this relationship is even over or not. Maybe that's why this bitch is running away. Huh. Alright. So. Queen of Wands reverse with the Knight of Swords reverse. She's mouthy, but she's running another way with her mouth. Or she's running to start shit with her mouth. Right? All because she's in her feelings because she couldn't express her feelings. I'm going to drop one more, because those two came together, actually. And 
It was it, it, it's almost like an incel. Ugh. You know, like those dudes who like get mad because like chicks don't like nice guys. They always want bad boys, but it's like so become a bad boy then if that's the case. Like if you know that that's the goal, why don't you just become what you don't like or whatever? Or I don't know. It's like it's it's weird. It's like this person's mad because like what did you? Virgo, was your person, like, offering to somebody else while your back was turned? Mmm, now that person might be running away because they're all upset they didn't get a chance to express themselves to some bitch they met in the fucking river in the middle of town. <laughs> oh, dear Virgo. Like, I don't know if this is you or if this is your person. Like, the Queen of Pentacles could also represent an unfaithful spouse, too. So, this might be somebody going behind your back, offering to somebody who is now all mad because they wouldn't leave you. Is that what I'm getting here? Down below in this Ten of Pentacles, like, the house is kind of fucky and you're still trying to fight for it, I feel like. Here we go, Crosswatcher. However, um, who was it that I, that I read for that I, that I called this a cage to? Leo? I think it was Leo. But, like, it feels like you're in a cage and being watched and, like... Almost like you have to perform this in order to keep going, but it's, like, suspicion. Mmm, the mystery continues. Like, I like the fact that yours always sounds like a mystery Virgo, because my mom watches, like, this murder shit, and it's just her shit, and it's like, Ey. Like, yeah, yours is always a mystery, I must say. Like, you like solving stuff or whatever. Um, but there's nobody to fight in order to get out of there so you win. Or, someone's gonna have their back turned just so you can get out of this. I mean, honestly, who are you fighting? Because you have the Seven of Wands energy in this too, but it's like when we actually see who it is that's in front of you with all the sticks, no. There's nobody there with sticks. You're the only one there with a stick. Who are you fighting? What are you fighting against? You feel like that there are people somewhat surrounding you, but there's nobody there to actually engage with you. And that's probably because they took off because they didn't get what they wanted, which is probably your boo. Or maybe that's you. Or I don't know. But either way, um, there's nobody there to really fight for, so... They, they gave up, so what, what are you... What are you s okay, whatever. Anyway, fear of rejection, right? This Queen of Swords just ruined everything with the world reverse. Actually, technically they're both reverse, but... Yeah, um, you can, yeah it, it's like there's no cage anymore. Like, someone isn't restricted. Yeah, definitely a cage, because nobody is stuck anywhere. The door's open, you can leave. Uh, you can leave. Hmm. This person's leaving because they just don't idolize the per the person who put them in the cage in the first place, or they're being guided by somebody they they just don't look up to anymore. It's like you open the door to get out with the nine of swords, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, Did you look at that shit. You're actually way uglier in person than we thought. <laughs> Oh lord. Two of swords reversed with the seven of swords reversed. Like, indecision because someone got caught doing sneaky shit. Oh boy. Person got left out in the cold because of it. And they want to resurrect things. Have some naked bitch dance and some weird me spiritual esque music while two people, like, drink tea out of flowers and talk to their. Skull carrying raven bird who brought them an elixir of life. His name's Dylan. Anyway, um, the full reverse or the sacred clown reverse, like not t really taking a leap of faith. All because they're a bitter mom, they're an angry, angry mother. Very much so. Hmm. Well, Virgo, let's see. Let's see. What is up, Virgo? 
Let's clarify all these. Well, we're going to cross watcher because sometimes cross watchers, you're the ones dealing with like the assholes, and that happens to be the side too. And I try not to like not say that, but at the same time, it's like you know, it, it's mainly for the sign. I read for. Hmm. Uh, this might be a crossroads for you, man. Might be. You know, because there's not like there's a lot of options after you take the snake and the jewels. You got, like, poison from the snake, and then you found out that the jewels were, like, inauthentic, I believe. Down below in the situation, y'all... Either you drove someone away to that point, or someone did that to you, but they're acting victorious, but in reality, it's like, it's not really as much of a victory as what I thought it was. It wasn't as satisfying, right? And that's because, like, a kitty cat's whispering some shit to them that might not just be good. Like, we got the Queen of Wands up here, too, and she's the one who kind of took off. It's like somebody heard some shit that they didn't want to hear, or they heard some really bad shit that, like, you know... Might not have necessarily been true, you know? Wants and wishes with this Queen of Wands, right? Where she all mad and huff because nobody gave a shit. Yeah. Maybe she realized she was just serving somebody instead of being served by them, and that was not a wish she wanted to fulfill. You know, like, I did not come here to be a slave, you know? But that's poorly communicated. It, it was very poorly communicated. Obstacles and challenges? Yeah, so she might be the mistress somewhere in a relationship, I feel like. But she's all mad and shit and in a huff, so I don't know. I could be wrong. As often known. And this obstacle and challenge, just bury this shit, you know? Just bury it. Just bury it. It's over with. There's no one to fight. All you're gonna do is mess yourself up with all this. Like, she already took off this way. Now you're trying to follow and she's gonna end up, like, catching you off your horse and stabbing you with your own sword, man. This is me making yourself a little bit worse looking than this person, because at least they took the fuck off. Maybe they found out that, like, you and your, and your uh, other person... Like, I don't know, there are too many people today, Virgo. There are a lot of people. There are at least four or three. There might be a fourth one. I don't know. But there's a lot of people. Let's see. Here's the rejections. You know, if you take this pentacle, you're going to get a lot of problems. In the form of bugs, maybe. In the form of other things. Things that infest. Things that leave diseases. Things that um are bothersome. Or will cause a lot of fucking damage and a lot of nastiness around the home. And, and, and that's what's going to happen if you take that pentacle. Yeah. And you might take that pentacle because you don't want to be left out in the cold. This makes the five of coin and that is down here as well. This four of coin, you know. That's right there ready to take this shit and you're not letting it go. It's like you're afraid that the next step is just... It's not going to be worth it, and it's going to be more bothered than anything. And that's why you're not letting go of something that's got to go. How this shit start, it's how it'll end. You need to listen to some people and open up. Then be careful who you open up to, because you're looking at this person sideways, and they ain't paying you no mind whatsoever. Like, they got shit on their brain. Maybe people can, are going to come to warn you about a certain person. Or maybe you're going to try to, like say something and then somebody convinces you otherwise and then you start looking at them like well why did you stop me in the first place we're both in the guarded position why are you guarded against me I'm not trying to be guarded against you or some shit like that but that's what I got for you right now Virgo so that's your read hooray I hope you enjoyed uh, if you did like this please like share and subscribe you ain't got to no worries and I won't mind but I'd greatly appreciate it I'll see you guys later. Love your faces. Bye.